is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're going to be talking about oz perkins upcoming horror film long legs and if you're not familiar with oz perkins you might be if you have seen films like the black coat's daughter hansel and gretel and you might be a big fan of him now if you weren't already aware of who made those previous films granted i would say the black coat's daughter is better than hansel and gretel but long legs is his upcoming feature film which these teasers that neon has been putting out they've been magnificent they've been very suspenseful very intriguing they're not showing you a lot but i am going to go over some rumored plot details alleged rumored not confirmed plot details related to the upcoming film that should still get everyone excited about what's to come in long legs so long legs is revolving around fbi agent lee harker who is a gifted new recruit assigned to the unsolved case of an elusive serial killer. As the case takes complex turns, unearthing evidence of connections to occult practices, Harker discovers a personal connection to the merciless killer and must race against time to stop him before he strikes again. Now, Agent Browning is one of the characters, apparently, rumored to be one of the characters, and I will say rumored also to be played by Alicia Witt, who was already announced to be a part of this film. Now, Browning doesn't think that the rookie agent that's been assigned to it, Lee Harker, who is played by Michael Monroe, doesn't think Harker is ready to handle this case. Browning finds it, finds it odd that the killer knows details about Harker, like her date of birth, which is November 14th. And November 14th has a lot of significance to this killer, apparently. Now... This is the rumored, it might be misspelled name for, or mispronounced name, since you won't know how I'm spelling it, <laughs> mispronounced name of the character Nicolas Cage is playing, because he's playing the killer. The killer is rumored to be named Kobol. Kobol. Cobalt or Kobol. He's rumored to have killed a family of four named the Horns. The dad was a college professor. Coach T-Ball. Mom led church bake sales. And he believes Coble, that being, believes himself to be the devil's mouthpiece. He keeps notebooks full of satanic things. He's a devil worshiper, devil worshiper nonetheless. And there's a huge twist that the long legs teasers may or may not reveal about this killer. But let's just say his methods are not what you probably are suspecting. Do you guys remember those words for my screen fans out there? Do you remember those words Roman Bridger left on the back of that one Marine Prescott picture in Scream 3 where it read, I killed her. That's the biggest hint I can give you. And he's been active, this killer, Coble, has been active for several decades, multiple decades. Then you have Agent Lee Harker, who is the rookie assigned to help solve the case. But again, this is played by Michael Monroe. She has a childhood connection to the killer that he taunts her over during her investigations. See, November 14th is again, something that's very significant to harker the killer more so harker and it's something she struggles to remember because it pertains to her ninth birthday the teasers have helped make this evident as well since there's a birthday party that's been hyped up but now i'm just giving a little bit more context so it's it's all seems to be centered on what they're showcasing in that teaser seems to be centered on what happened during Har harker's ninth birthday party then you have agent carter who is a partner to Agent Browning and is rumored to be played by Blair Underwood. Carter finds Harker's connection to the killer interesting and is determined to figure out what happened on her ninth birthday. Then there's some mental asylum patient they go to for answers at one point as well. But Long Legs has been really crushing it with these teasers and the way they have just shown very little and they're getting you on the edge of your seat. I know a lot of you got to see the trailer or the teaser. I don't know how long it was. You saw it when you went to go see Night Swim. You said it was very tense, very chilling, very suspenseful. Didn't show too much, just did, did show enough to keep you intrigued. I think we have a hit coming our way this summer. There's some coding apparently in the teasers too that a lot of people seem to be deciphering to, to be related to the month of July. I don't know how true or false that will end up being if July is the release month. I cannot wait for this film. But again, there are some huge twists with the killer that I did not go over in this video because I want to see if they are going to showcase it in the trailer. If they do not showcase it in the trailer, I might just put out a tweet to make it apparent as to what the killer's methods are, or I might just preserve it. 
because of the fact that I think it's very huge. It all depends on what they do going forward with their marketing, but there's a, big, a pretty big twist with the methods of Cobble and how Nicolas Cage's character is operating. What the significance is of November 14th, I do not know that. I just know that November 14th has significance and it is related to Lee Harker's ninth birthday. What happened on Lee Harker's ninth birthday, I also do not know that. I have no doubts that we will find out because if you go through the casting on IMDb, which yes, can be reliable or it can't be reliable, but granted with the evidence that I have, there's also a young Lee person that's been cast to play Lee as a child. So we're going to get a flashback of that birthday party. The teasers have been hyping it up and the film will give us further context. You guys can let me know if you're looking forward to long legs down in the comment section below. Why or why not? What do you think the huge twist is related to Cobble and his satanic methods that he goes or that he practices in relation to his serial killing? Let me know down below. If you haven't already, of course, Make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. Also, in the comments below, let me know how you think Cobol has been able to stay active for over several decades. How do you think he's been able to do that? I would like to hear these theories down in the comment section below if you're someone who's looking forward to long legs. But with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.